Hey everyone, I am Prasanta from Smart Tech Guide. Uh, in this video, um, uh, I'm going to uh, show you a couple of things about uh, projects and projects and castle. Uh, this is a project uh, with this, you will be able to run uh, Android on uh, iPhone devices. Uh, at this point, it's uh, in early beta version, so please uh, use with caution. Uh, if you are an iPhone user and you like to try Android or um, if you love iPhone hardware but you want to use Android or if you are just curious about trying Android on iPhone uh, devices, uh, this is the uh, right uh, tips and um, guide for you. Uh, background. Um, Android and iPhone device or iOS device were been long in the uh, debate where one is better than other uh, depending on which user prefer one um, ecosystem and another user prefer another ecosystem. It's always a point of debate between the users. Um, when you um, go to the Starbucks or some cafe and you, have, you and your friend have different devices then there may be a debate between that based on the features and all those things uh, there there always been some sort of uh, hate towards one another uh, if you are iphone user you may hate android and if you are android user you may hate uh, iphone uh, at some sort um, at some point and um, some degree uh, there are many differences of course uh, but lately those differences are decreasing and most of the features are available in both platforms so the differences are going down and down uh, with that comparison is more difficult and uh, the head rate is also kind of less nowadays uh, because there are no such no uh, difference that are uh, that counts very well for the debates um, but still there are many uh, difference uh, that makes debate still ongoing uh, if you are a long time user of one and um, there may, there is so much resistance on to migrate into the another one uh, because of difference in the ecosystem uh, one thing uh, android user always says uh, about the um, better part of android than over uh, ios is customization flexibility uh, or they can custom or um, um, custom applications or they have many choice of third party applications um, but that's not um, applicable for iPhones. Uh, while iPhone user brag about uh, some th some different things like blue bubble on the messaging app, or security, or the privacy, and of course no blood words on the iPhone. If you buy um, a new device from uh, some carrier like AT and T or Verizon. Um, all the Android device comes with um, carrier bloatwares like um, AT&T app. Uh, if you are buying from Verizon, it will come with blot um, Verizon web app that you cannot even uninstall, but that's not useful for you. So if you are if you're buying iPhone, then it doesn't come. Even if you buy from Verizon or anything, it doesn't come with that. That's a good part of iPhone always. So those are things that iPhone user and Android user kind of uh, debate on most of the time um, and um, the debate goes on and on because the ecosystems are different and uh, if you are in one ecosystem it's really difficult to migrate into another ecosystem because of user interface and everything um, so uh, let's look at the project uh, sandcastle what is it and um, we'll see uh, this is a new development project uh, with this you can actually uh, um, use android on iphone devices um, i have to note that it's it's still in the beta phase and it's early um, for the day-to-day -day usage but uh, you can test it out um, how does it work it um, works by customizing the um, apple file system uh, 
and uh, uh, customizing the ROM of the Apple device so that um, you can install the Android um, uh, Android uh, OS on that uh, device and uh, it's still in beta as I said before um, and one thing is back in the days around 2010 or so uh, there was a workaround from two of the developers um, to install um, Android on the iPhone at that time uh, iPhone 2G and iPhone 3G devices they were able to uh, get um, to some working but it was not perfect and um, now the same developer uh, were the uh, are the co-founding um, for this uh, project so uh, developer David Wong and Chris Wadage uh, are the co-founders of this project uh, to bring uh, it live at this point uh, Android for the uh, iPhone is still in beta as I mentioned earlier a uh, couple of times and it has very limited testing features it doesn't uh, it's not full-fledged um, um, software yet uh, or um, operating system yet but you can test it out if you have another extra piece of iPhone uh, and also at this point only couple of uh, iPhone device are uh, supported like iPhone 7 7 plus and iPod 7 touch 7 uh, not all the iPhone device are supported at this point any impact on the battery or perform performance or any other component is still unknown it's still in testing uh, you can use it but use it with caution uh, and uh, do not i i do not prefer uh, you to uh, install on your primary device because it may break your device and you may not come uh, roll back um, so if you have extra piece of uh, iphone 7 or 7 plus or ipod touch 7 uh, feel free to install on that and try it out but if you are using that as a primary device um, you should um, uh, think twice before installing uh, while apple file system has experimental write support uh, it is currently set to read only for the safety on the uh, uh, download uh, file uh, you can download the uh, android and linux build from uh, the link i'll uh, provide the link uh, in the description section uh, project uh, project sandcastle.org slash status and uh, as i mentioned earlier try at your own risk if you have secondary device feel free to try it because even if it breaks you you don't need to worry but if you are having only one device and that's your primary device uh, it's um, um maybe uh, uh, bad choice or it's not a good idea to um, install on that because it's still in early um, testing phase and not all the features are available uh, battery and performance and any most of the things are still unknown so that's not a good idea uh, give it a try if you have secondary device and if you want to test it out uh, let me know if you have any questions on anything including this matter uh, thank you for watching thank you for watching my video please subscribe and share my channel and videos like my facebook page and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to subscribe button to get notified of my future videos if you haven't watched my previous videos go ahead and watch feel free to comment if you like to know something or have feedback for me until next video have a good time bye bye